I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, today we're reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, and let's focus on verses 3 through 7. Strengthen the weak hands, steady the shaking knees, say to the cowardly, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God, vengeance is coming. God's retribution is coming, he will save you. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened, the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame will leap like a deer, and the tongue of the mute will sing for joy. For water will gush in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The parched ground will become a pool of water, and the thirsty land springs of water. In the haunt of jackals, in their lairs, there will be grass, reeds, and papyrus. You know, it has been said that people are like tea bags. You never know what's on the inside until you put them in hot water. <laughs> you ever been in hot water before? I think we all have. We've all had those hot water tea bag moments. Moments where the Lord, by His grace, has just dropped us straight into the hot water. And while I would like to report that I always steep righteousness in those moments, the truth is, I did not. Now, I know that the concept of the Lord willingly bringing hardship upon His faithful children, I know that seems foreign to some believers. And we'd rather believe that God will spare us from the hardship simply because we're faithful, because we choose to follow Him closely. But in His wisdom, God chooses from time to time to allow us to experience difficulty. And that is a function of His grace, not of His rebuke. The therapeutic nature of hardship reveals to us and to onlookers how deep our faith really is. More often than not, through hardship, God reveals the difference between the faith we proclaim and the faith we possess. John the Baptist had a teabag moment. He, he was in prison. He's facing execution. He began to doubt, or at least he needed reinsurance of the one of whom John had already declared, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He had to know, is it really worth dying for? Matthew chapter 11, verses 2 through 6. When John heard in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent a message by his disciples and he asked him, Are you the one who is to come or should we expect someone else? And Jesus replied to them, Go and report to John what you hear and see. The blind see, the lame walk, those with skin diseases are healed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor are told the good news. If anyone is not offended because of me, he is blessed. Interestingly, Jesus did not answer, Oh, hold on, John, I'm going to dispatch a band of angels to rescue you. Jesus simply quoted today's passage from Isaiah, titled in my Bible, The Future Glory of Zion. Jesus reminded John the baptizer of God's promise from his word. And by the way, God's word should be enough. Remember, salvation doesn't always mean the end of earthly suffering. Someday, we will all be liberated from the bonds of earthly suffering, and we will enter into the eternal glory of Zion, the new Jerusalem. But until then, we are here on earth, and we are to seek the Lord, to obey His Word, and to share Him with everyone we meet. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. You know, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And yes, we do need your monthly support. Donating is secure, and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. You know, another way to help is just tell people about us. Tell them about Groundworks Ministries. Share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.